for years now, researchers have really expanded their understanding of the mind and just how powerful it can be. In today's HealthCast, we take a closer look at how scientists have harnessed all that power and energy to help a quadriplegic man drive a race car. For German Eldana, it was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Though he's never had a driver's license, two weeks ago he drove a NASCAR race car around Pikes Peak International Raceway in Colorado Springs. When I got there and I did the first lap, I lost fear and I just felt excited, a rush, and it felt unbelievable, something that I never thought I was going to be able to do. Now 25, German was 16 years old in 2013 when he was involved in a car accident that left him a quadriplegic. At that time, uh, at the beginning, I was, you know, like, sad. I couldn't believe it. It was hard for me at first. Then he became part of the Brain Machine Interface Research at UM's Miami Project to Cure Paralysis. Controlling objects through his thought process involves an implanted device that connects to areas of his brain and special gloves that complete the communication link. There was technology already available that uh, was used in uh, Parkinson's patients where we have a deep brain stimulation system. Uh, that we repurposed for listening into the brain signals um, uh, from German that allow us to listen to that signal and then translate it into something meaningful. Whenever I think about opening, the glove opens. Whenever I think about closing, the glove closes. So it works with my mind, yes. German envisions a future with many more ways to be mobile. Not only for me, but for other people that are paralyzed till one day be able to walk again. That's the goal for me. Isn't that amazing? That experience was made possible by Fauci Adaptive Motorsports, which is an organization started by a neurosurgeon to help create innovative experiences for people with mobility impairments.